Early data, what is this? This is a uh, three and a half inch HD floppy disk that has been formatted as a Mac 800K. Uh, I did that by tricking it, by taping over the hole over here. Um, and I put this in the PowerBook 180 and formatted it. Thank you uh, for the PowerBook 180. Uh, it's 800K because 800K floppies are kind of interesting. And I've been trying to read this on sort of a standard PC, Sony, or Panasonic three and a half inch uh, floppy disk drive. But what's interesting is it doesn't really work. Here I've got it with um, Flux Engine. You can see um, the dots are sectors that read fine. And you see like, as you get to um, higher and higher tracks, um, you know, the sectors don't show up and it's like they're okay for like the first few tracks, but then they disappear. Well, the reason for that is actually kind of interesting. Mac 800K floppies are weird. Um, each track actually has a different number of sectors and the pulse widths change. So um, on the outer track, which is actually track zero, the pulses are very short. And as they get closer and closer to the center near the hub, um, the pulses get wider because you want more um, magnetic media to pass under the head. And um, for MFM floppies, which is what normal IBM floppies are for floppy disks, the track widths, um, sorry, the bit widths don't change. They're like two, four, six um, microseconds. And they're the same no matter what track they're on, whether they're on track zero all the way out here or track 80 all the way in here. So if you're trying to read Mac format floppies, the outer tracks will read just fine because they use the short bit widths, but as the bit widths get larger in time, but stay the same in um, physical space, these disk drives have trouble reading them. So we might have to do some special math to get Mac 800K floppies uh, to work with this. It could also be the diskette itself. More to come.